All right, it's time for another pop culture roundup, and this time we have Tommy Lahren, and we will get into the latest and greatest Hollywood drama. So we're going to start off. Is he Knuff? Knuff, <laughs> remember that? That's from Ken and Barbie there. Women around the world are taking their men to the Barbie movie as a test to see how empathetic they are towards feminism and the patriarchy and <laughs> fighting it and all that. Good idea. So listen, I don't think my husband would go with me to the Barbie movie. I went <laughs> with girlfriends, yeah. but I liked the movie. I know that you didn't like it fully. I liked I the first did. half. So I did like it, and I do think that maybe even having your boyfriend, your husband go with you, I think for the number of times I have to watch college football, I'm okay with it. <laughs> come to the Barbie movie. If I have to watch the Tennessee Vols all fall, you can come and watch Barbie. I know, me. but I think the point here, Tommy, is that if you don't agree with the patriarchal messages right. that are being out there, remember that big, really boring <laughs> speech by America Ferreira, um, that you should dump the guy if he doesn't agree with you know the, that right I think if you're gonna dump a guy over a disagreement on the Barbie movie I'm not sure that the relationship was built to last but I, I do think that it's a good discussion to have you know maybe you can find out something about your boyfriend or your girlfriend right maybe it's a test the other way so this could be a good thing all right well find Ken, out about each other Ken and Barbie don't get married spoiler alert which is my biggest problem um, in the end all right well let's move on so there's this new trend it's called the lazy girl job and it's a TikTok trend where these girls who have sort of like, you know, entry level jobs post videos about how they're sort of not doing their best at the job. They're just sort of blowing it off and just right. doing the minimum. Is the girl boss thing like so last year and now it's lazy girls in? So this is a TikTok trend. Yeah, so everything horrible is birthed on Kanye's TikTok. <laughs> we'll also know. start there. TikTok also brought us quiet quitting, bare minimum Mondays, and now this, lazy girl jobs. Is this a communist plot? Well, it could be. You know, it's TikTok, so I wouldn't put it past yes. them. But listen, we've got people that are on TikTok, maybe monetizing and making money off of social media, telling other young girls and other women that they should do less and excel less and be less successful. So I'm not buying it, ladies out there. Do not fall for this. It is a trap. Work hard, do your best. Now this is a positive Barbie message. Barbie is a workplace woman, so we can learn that from Barbie, yeah. not lazy girl TikTok, yeah. all right? And we're both wearing power jumpsuits today. There we go. So, you know, whatever. All right, Ariana Grande is accused. Now, she's done this a couple times. She is um, <clears throat> dating a guy, or she caused the breakup of a young couple. They were high school sweethearts um, with her now co-star in the, in the new musical Wicked. Uh, what do you make of this? I mean, this is like the second time because she also um, did this with Pete right. Davidson, who ended up dumping his girlfriend for her as well. So listen, I'm not a feminist, but I will say this, Rachel, uh, it's not her fault, right? It, it takes two to tango. So maybe she's irresistible, but some of these men, right? <laughs> if, if you're leaving your wife and your young child or you're leaving your girlfriend or you're cheating, I can't blame Ariana Grande for that. It takes two to tango. I also blame the man, man in the situation. Now, I don't have a whole lot of love for Ariana Grande, but I will say this. Nobody is sucked in and, and mystified by somebody. I don't care how pretty she is, how great of a singer. I think this is a man problem as well. We just need loyalty and fidelity all around. All the way and you know around. what? Maybe she did these women a favor because if their man was going to cheat, maybe she helped them find out sooner. So yeah. maybe it's a gift. It never ends well when that happens. No. You saw what happened to Giselle after exactly. Tom, she took Tom Brady's husband away from his pregnant wife. Um, all right. David and Victoria's close friendship with Meghan and Harry is over now after being left absolutely furious at claims that they were the ones who leaked stories about the royal company. Uh, about the royal couple. So what's happening here? I'll tell you, yes. we have um, Douglas Murray on. I asked him, what's happening? And he says, they want Hollywood friends, but these aren't really their real friends, and that's why right. there's all this drama. Well, again, I don't think that Harry and Meghan are actually upset at people leaking stories because <laughs> that's what they need. They need content. Yes. They need to be the center of attention. Mm. And I'm sorry here, but this is actual, to me, this is actual royalty because I'm such a Spice Girls fan. Yeah. And mm -hmm. when you look at David Beckham, Victoria Beckham, uh, I think that though they are maybe higher on the ladder than Harry and Meghan, but Harry and Meghan have to have some kind of drama. 
They wish they could be friends with Posh Spice at this point, but they want people to be leaking. They want to be the center of attention. They want to be royal when it suits them because they want us to be talking about them. I'd rather talk about Posh Spice, to be honest with you, Rachel. Uh, King Charles inviting uh, Harry and Meghan on their summer vacation. Good idea, bad idea. I to bring them back in. It was a nice gesture. And as much as they might protest, like, oh, no, they don't want to do that, they do because if they're not feuding with the royal family, again, Rachel, they have no content. They have no deals with Netflix mm. or Spotify. So they got to stay in the, in the limelight in the news. So they want to be royal every once in a while just to kick that back up. Well, we are talking about them. All right, Tommy Laren, thanks a lot. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.